All right, people, Mr. Wright here with lesson 29 for trombone. In this lesson, we're going to cover the 2-4 time signature. Two beats to the measure, the quarter note receives the beat. If you'll look at the beginning of the Bohemian Pickle Beat Polka, you'll see that there's two beats to the measure, and the quarter note receives the beat. Remember, we divide a whole note, our standard complete note, by four, this bottom number right here, and we get four quarters. So therefore, the quarter note receives the beat, and there's two beats in every measure. Now, we start off in the key of concert E flat, where we have three flats, a flat on the B line, a flat on the E space, a flat on the A space. I mean, all of our Bs are flat, all of our E's are flat, and all of our A's, whether high or low, they're going to be A flat in third position. We do change keys down here, and we add a flat, to the, the D line, making all of our D's D flat. But I did not write any D's in this little section right here because this is a new key for us and we'll cover that later. But uh, for now, you won't have to worry about flatting all your D's because I just simply didn't put them in that little melody right there. I also want to mention the fact that we have an upper part here in these two measures and later on the same thing. These are two options you can play. Like uh, if you're playing with another trombone player, uh, the one person would play the top line and the bottom person or the other person playing the lower part would play this lower section. So if you're playing the top line, you just read those top notes. If you're playing the bottom part, and it harmonizes when you get to those two measures. And then you go back to playing in unison, which means all, you'd both be playing the same part. So here we go. The Bohemian Pickle Beat Polka. One, two, All right, so that's that one. And then if you move on to this little exercise down here, you'll notice that we change time signatures. It's still in 2-4 right here, two beats the measure. But right here we change time signatures and you'll always see a double bar right before that. So we go to three beats per measure, quarter note receives a beat. The, the previous exercise, lesson 28, covered that. And here's a dotted quarter note for a beat and a half. So you go one, two, and three. That's how you would count it one, two, and three. You're playing for the first, all of beat one and the first half of beat two, that's why you count two, and then the second half of beat two, you're gonna play that B flat right there. Then we change to two, four time signature again. Then we change to four, four time signature, and that's an A flat because of this flat on our A space. All these A's are A flats, and your E's are E flat. And then four, four, of course, right here, and then we go back to three, four, and then, um, uh, three, four again, and so forth. So it's, you're just basically 
changing time signatures. One, two, one, two, one. So you're having to count in your mind. It also helps to have a conductor that gives a strong downbeat, like one, two, one, two, one, two, and three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, one, two, three, four. So having a conductor conduct at the same time that you're playing uh, helps kind of reinforce what's going on, hopefully, in your mind as you're counting. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Lesson 29, 2-4 time signature.